hi guys welcome back to another part of android tutorial today we are going to learn about another important view component used in android called uh, the spinner view so here i already create a new project called the uh, spinner demo here is the main activity here is the activity main dot xml file so first step I have to add the spinner view on the XML file so here I just add the spinner I just give an ID for the spinner view I give it as SP now I have to set the layout for the spinner view I make it as wrap content with this wrap content next I have to set height for the spinner view also I make it as wrap content now I save the project now take a closer look to the XML file to the layout so here I just I have to arrange it properly okay I just change the text on the text view I change it as select a district this is not referred from this link.xml file so again take a closer look to the layout file here is the text view here is the spinner view okay here I am going to get the content for the spinner view from the string.xml file so go to the values folder and open up the string.xml file on the xml you need to add a string array I name it as districts name now I have to add some items on the string array I just add some district on the add some district available on Kerala state this one is Aleppi Uh, these are the districts available some of districts available in Kerala state okay that's enough now I have to close the string array I just close the string array here now we have to code the string array so go to the src folder on the package open the main activity java file first I have to create a string array I just declare a string array here also I have to create an object declare an object for the spinner view I give it as sp so here I just connect the object to the id give on the xml file so uh, using the method find the view by id r dot id dot uh, sp sp is the id given on the uh, given to the 
uh, given uh, on the XML file. So uh, now I have to connect the values given on the string array on XML file to, to this string. So here I just use the method get a resource. So here the method uh, available is districts is equal to get to resources dot get string array r dot array dot array name is string name string district name okay now I have to connect this uh, string array districts to the uh, spinner view so I need an object of the array adapter class so here I have to create an object of array adapter class here it's of string type I give it as adapter is equal to new array adapter uh, I have to pass a context I make it as this now I have to apply some style to the spinner view so here I just use android dot r dot layout dot uh, you have to select an option from here spinner drop down item or a symbol spinner item I just use a symbol spinner item now I have to specify the resource of that spinner view here the resource is districts ok now I have to connect this spinner view this adapter object to the spinner object so I use the method sb dot set adapter So here is the adapter name is adapter. Now we successfully uh, set the adapter object to the spinner object. Now one more thing we have to do is to whenever the user select an item on the spinner view, we have to create a method that open that invoked whenever a user click an item on the spinner view. So that method name is set on item select selector listener so here I just use the object sp dot set on set on item selected listener new on item selected listener uh, you have to add some unimplemented method import that package also you need to add some unimplemented method here okay that's it here is the method on item selected so here I just create an integer integer int index is equal to Uh, here the argument is IRGS of 0 that is the object of adapter view dot that there is a method called uh, get selected item position get selected item position so here in this in integer called index we got the position of the item on the string so now I use a task to display that item main text get the base context use select here array is districts of index now I have to specify duration for the task 
tossed dot uh, length I make it as long now make the toss visible using the method called Okay, here is some arrows are present. So here is the district. Now I have to make the uh, task visible using the method show. Okay. Uh, now we are successfully coded the uh, spinner view. Now this is the time to check the project. So I run the project. Run as an Android application. Okay, now you can see that the project is successfully loaded and on the emulator you can see that here is the spinner view is appear on the emulator. So I just click this option. Now you can see that the sub options are present. Here is the uh, item that I already given on the string.xml file. So here I, I have to select an item. I just select the item called M. Now here is the task you select called M. Guys, this is how we using a spinner view simply in an android application project thank you for watching if you do not subscribe my channel please subscribe now for getting further video updates thank you for watching see you in the next part of this tutorial